Poppy's World here, folks, and welcome to my newest and latest greatest video installment on 4K and Dolby Vision, including Dolby Atmos. I'm going to get started really quick and talk to you about what I am doing in this video. All right. First things first is I am going to show you a little trick here and it's a tip of mine on how to obtain 4K. Technically what I'm talking about is how to watch all of your content, including playing a PlayStation 4 game, and this is not with the PlayStation 4 Pro, mind you. This is a regular old PlayStation 4. Um, it's not a Pro at all whatsoever. It won't play ultra high definition 4K content discs or anything. But I'm going to show you a trick as to how to make sure you're playing your PlayStation 4 games in 4K, how to make sure you are watching your cable or antenna television in 4K or satellite, have you? Um, how to how to make sure you are watching a original DVD in 4K as well, and as well as Alter HD content. Now you do need a 4K television for this to work, and you will need most likely a surround sound receiver built by either Marantz, Denon, Akio, Pioneer. By the way, Marantz and Denon are the same company, or owned by the same company at least by now. Um, I've got a small setup right here for you at a different property. I just want to quickly show you folks this. Um, got some KEF speakers, as I love these KEFs. They're the Q300s, not my normal 100s. Um, they're bi-amped and bi-wired right now. As you can see, all with AudioQuest cable. I don't pay uh, full MSRP for any of the AudioQuest equipment. I never would. It's very highly overpriced. Let me just get you a look at what's going on down here. Uh, we have a new cable box, too, because we did not have DVR at this property whatsoever. So we've got a new cable box from Spectrum yet to put in and all that. I've got my notebook set up to the Marantz, of course, here via an HDMI cable. I have, let me just show you over here quickly, got my PlayStation 4 going in with a AudioQuest Vodka cable. Um, and I am operating in stereo mode right now. Let me show you guys one trick, though, real quick. I'm going to ensure that we are in full 4K. And you can do this with any source. Um, with uh, anything you're watching, basically. There's just one trick to it that you have to have. And let me ensure you real quick. I'm just gonna hit display. I'm not using my universal remote right now, by the way. We did pick a universal remote up for this area, for this property. Um, and of course, I had to go with the same one. It's not even plugged in or set up just yet, but it's the Logitech. Um, is it the Elite or the Ultimate? I'd have to find out exactly for you if it's the Elite or the Ultimate, but it's brand new. We haven't, uh, you know, set any of the uh, devices to it yet. But I will do a video on that soon and some of the best universal remote controls that I find. This one's really great too for the Sony. You can talk into the TV and all that with the remote. Um, but yeah, um, and I also am going to be doing a video soon, guys, with the female on what Dolby Vision is. Uh, but here, let me just quickly, I'm just gonna hit display for you on my Sony TV. It's a 4K TV. We just bought this guy. Um, and bam, I'm gonna make sure we're in 4K. As yes, we are in 4K. So, okay, we're ensuring that we're at 3840 by 2160p, 4K at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I will, I can give you a little view here, what it looks like and what it sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and put you on into surround real quick and we'll go from here. Give you a little game action, see what it sounds like. Hey, you 
I do not have the Dolby Vision upgrade performed yet on this television as I will do that very shortly here and we will go ahead and do an entire video on Dolby Vision. What is it? How do you achieve it? What's the difference? And uh, everything else about it, I can tell you. Also, it could be a little low down on Dolby the company. Um, and I believe it became, it's a publicly traded company. I believe it uh, went public in about 2005 or six era. And um, its stock has risen um, pretty high. So um, I'm a Dolby shareholder. I suggest getting some shares into Dolby at some point. Uh, also Amazon. I'm an Amazon shareholder as well. It's probably the fourth largest or biggest, well, no, fourth largest um, trading company in America, I think. Uh, publicly traded stocks. Uh, let me quickly just go into some other uh, content for you real quick. Like, I'm just going to hit um, on my remote here. I'm just going to hit cable set real quick and then turn the cable box on just for a second. I know I'm not using a universal remote here, but... Um, See, joins Officer Herrera. So let me just Steve. make sure that we're in 4K as we're watching we TV here. To get, so we're yes, going to just chase TV. it around, I guess. <laughs> this should be good. Bam, we're in 4K. Do you want me to stop traffic? Let me show you, and mind you, any source I put into this, I'll have in full 4K. Uh, now, you know, keep in mind, it is upscaled 4K. It's not true ultra high definition 4K content, unless you're watching an ultra HD um, Blu-ray disc out of the Oppo. That's the only ultra HD Blu-ray player I own. So, um, it's upscaled, but yeah, there's one trick to it. Now, I can show you the trick right now. So pay attention, I'm not going to show you this again. It's pretty simple though, you have to own one thing and one thing only, besides the 4K display of course. And that is, voila, a Marantz or Denon receiver as I said before. And all you're doing is you're basically going like this. You want to set this guy up, you want to go into video, and you want to do your output settings. So, once you get into the output settings, so once you're in the video output settings of the receiver, you're just going to go and make sure that your video conversion is on. Your IP scaler is definitely set to HDMI. You can even do it for analog, believe it or not. Um, I don't have any analog video connections coming out of this receiver at this point now. If I had a different type of display, I sure would. If I was doing more than two, I sure would. Uh, I've got a projector we've yet to set up in Epson, so we'll set that up in this room, of course, with a fixed frame screen on the wall. Uh, but, um, you know, what you're doing here is you're doing this. You're doing your resolution to auto and HDMI. That's what I'm doing right now. There's a number of different options, but if you make sure this guy is at 4K, uh, you will be good to go. You will be upscaling everything in 4K. I'm going to actually leave him at 4K for the time being. I'm not going to do a 50-60 just yet. Progressive mode is in auto. Um, I like to leave it in auto, and then, of course, your aspect ratio. So that is the key. I can show you that or guarantee you that it is definitely doing that and it is no other devices making this in 4K. It's actually changing some of the color too for the better. Um, both devices will operate a Dolby Vision pass-through and the TV on its own will do its own Dolby Vision upgrade. But I'm just going to hit display real quick, make sure we're in 4K, yes. And then one thing I'm going to do to kind of prove to you guys that it's the receiver and the receiver only doing this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the receiver off 
It's switching audio to TV speakers right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit display. Yes, much big, you know, our, a huge sound difference, a huge change in the sound when we're operating off of the Marantz, off of all these different speakers right now. I've got a pair of NHTs, a pair of Sonys, a pair of little Ankyo speakers right here. Those used to be hung up for uh, rear height channels, as you saw my uh, signal was going into rear height channels, or at least my active speakers. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit display again for you real quick. And we're going to see that it's a 1080 i because the cable feed or any satellite feed most likely right now is in 1080 i only. So, yeah, we're in 1080 i but uh, yeah, I mean, it is amazing. It does look much different. I know you can't tell right now, um, and it's a lot easier to tell on a projector. But yeah, um, that's how you do it, folks. So that is how you make sure that you are watching everything in 4K, is make sure you buy a decent receiver that has an IP upscaler on it, make sure that it's got a video conversion on it, and you are setting that to 4K in your video options. And of course, as I said before, I will be doing an entire video devoted to, Vis to Dolby Vision. Um, I can also do a video later as some people have been talking to me about Voodoo um, and having Dolby Vision and also Dolby Atmos and achieving the Dolby Atmos. So I can do a video at some point on that, on how to actually get and ensure, make sure that you're getting your Dolby Atmos when you are streaming Voodoo movies. But here you go. I said I'd do a video on this, and here's kind of what I'll compare it with and stuff like that. Um, I will show you the difference with Dolby Vision on and Dolby Vision off, and the, uh, well, 8, 10-bit color, uh, and, and, you know, and the color gamma it does and all that. But, um, you know, you know, there are some things I'm going to be going off of. Um, I think if I even ask my computer, hey, Cortana, what is Dolby Vision? and wide color gamut from content creation and production, transmission, and playback. It is backward compatible with current 8-bit video system. Dolby Vision is available in TV, monitor, mobile device, and theater. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, you can click down there uh, as it will give you a ton of information on Dolby from Wikipedia. However, we're not going to go there right now. As I told you, I would devote an entire video to it, so that's just kind of what's uh, soon to come. Um, I'll also be having a video on, um, well, turntables, introduction of turntables, and how to make sure you're getting the best uh, performance out of your turntables and whatnot, buying them, products for them, preamps and whatnot. Then I'm going to give you a little preview right here, too, as to what's to come. We've got some other videos coming up in the future here. Um, got a new weapon uh, I'll be doing a new review on a on a newer assault rifle with a red dot sight and some accessories on that and whatnot. Uh, got some vape products for the other channels and whatnot. So yeah, guys, got a lot of toys. Um, ordered up some new things too. And then, of course, I will be doing my video with the female where I will ask my viewers what product or products they want me to purchase here in the near future and I'll do some reviews on. Uh, I've also got a review to do on the HP notebook here. Uh, it's an amazing notebook that we picked up for uh, about 200 bucks, um, and it's just, I, you can't go wrong with it. I'll also do a video, folks, on wiring. Um, I don't even have my sub connected right now. It's an SVS that we bought specifically for this property, so I'll let you in on that. Got a little projector down there. I'll compare with an Epson at some point. Um, but yeah, then um, I've got a few other things coming, and one of the other things I wanted to show you was... So I'll do some stuff on wiring too, guys. I got a pretty bad rat's nest or bird's nest of wiring here, if you will. And I've purposely set things up like that. Um, I'm going to set up my DVR tonight with the female. We're going to watch some movies. We'll do some videos on the 4K comparison on them. Um, I, I might be picking up a Sony X800 Blu-ray player, the Alter HD Blu-ray player, so we can do a comparison on that, make sure that's Dolby Vision upgradable, make sure we get the Dolby Vision for it and whatnot, um, and also, yeah, the wiring. So I'm going to do a video on wiring at some point, not necessarily in the next few days, but probably in the next week, on some products you can buy. I have a cord hider and all that. I've got some, you know, multiple different ones. I've got multiple different methods. I've even got a weird, untraditional method of, of making a slit in your carpet with a knife and then running a magnet uh, connected to the uh, wire and then in your hand and kind of running the wire along through the carpet so that it comes out. So there are multiple different ways to hide your wiring, guys. Um, I'm going to go with probably just 
generic zip ties in the back here to make sure they're all kind of into one, um, you know, big sleeve there. And then you run your HDMIs um, into another wall that way and they're not being seen. Uh, so with the 4K here, with passing things through up to 4K, um, you can also, one of the the good features about this beast is you are able to zone him up to two different zones via HDMI too. Uh, he does an HDZ high definition zone um, also through the HDMI. But uh, yeah, you know, if you do the 4K upscaling and up conversion and all that, you can zone this beast, run an HDMI cable through the wall real quick and, and run him through into this room. So if he is in this room and you zone him on up to something like this, you are able to get 4K on another device too. Now it has to be a 4K display and all that, but yeah, you can get it going and it can happen. And I can do a video on that at some point on zoning as well. So folks, there you have it. There's a few previews of some of the videos I'll be doing in the future here. And of course, as always, I got a few new toys, so I will make sure to do a video on this stuff in this room. I'm doing a completely new two channel setup in this room. And I'll also be adding a, another device for display. So a flat screen most likely, uh, probably gonna be a Sony. But yeah, I've got a few new things to do. I can show you kind of this setup real quick while I'm building him. Uh, nothing special, but he is operating with a uh, power conditioner again from Monster. I picked up a very, very, very cheap slimline receiver from Marantz. Got a pair of sound, of course, the Emotiva. I'm probably the you know the most partial on that Emotiva A300 stereo amp, the you know the power amp at 150 watts RMS, and like a 0.01 to 0.06 total harmonic distortion value. You cannot go wrong with him. So. I can completely do a video on that stuff soon, guys, but that is what to come. And like I said, I'll be doing an introduction video to vinyl and whatnot, how to store your vinyl, everything about it, how to clean it, what to choose, preamps to choose and whatnot, cartridges, tone arms, all that stuff. So there you have it, folks. That is what is soon to come from Puppies World. As I said, I got a nice uh, Mossberg piece of equipment there to do a review on. I got um, some different surround parameters and stuff and whatnot to do reviews on. And yeah, we'll go from there. But I'm waiting next, basically, to do my Dolby Vision uh, video. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe as I will be back with much, much more very soon.